Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the little notification bell so you know the next time I upload videos and give that like button a little push right down there. So today it is part two of the fish extenders from this cruise on the Disney Magic 2 Norway. So part one was the first video I uploaded in this series and it was everything that I was giving for my fish extender gifts. And this video is going to be everything that we received from our wonderful group on the Disney Magic. All of the wonderful gifts are laying next to me right now and I'm excited to show you guys and I'm excited um, um, to finally make this video because I've been keeping everything together so I wouldn't lose track of anything and I really am just ready to put everything in a home and start using some of this stuff um, every day. So I'm excited to dive in and show you. I'm also going to dive into what I purchased on this cruise. I have a few items, not that many, um, but I wanted to show you those and um, a couple things that were free that we took home with us as well. So I will dive into that after we look at the fish extender gifts. I wanted to show you guys these gifts so I can put them away because honestly I'm really ready to use them there goes my air conditioning I'm gonna turn that off <laughs> that was distracting I don't even know where I left off I'm just gonna dive into these gifts and show you guys what we got I want to tell you guys what pixie dusting is because pixie dusting is separate from your typical fish extender group. If you don't know much about fish extender or if you missed my first video, I'll link that up here in the corner for you guys. The first video, I kind of explained a little bit about what fish extender is before I dove into the gifts that I gave. So that'll help make a little bit more sense about this video if you're kind of confused on why I'm showing a bunch of gifts and you don't know why I'm getting them. So watch that video, learn a little bit about what fish extender is. And I wanna tell you guys a little bit about pixie dusting. So pixie dusting is different from your regular fish extender group. Your fish extender group you sign up for, you have about 10 staterooms, give or take, in your stateroom and you exchange gifts for them. There might be a person who didn't want to do a fish extender group but still wanted to give some little gifts out and they can do that by pixie dusting. So all pixie dusting is, is people that want to give gifts will walk around the ship and put little gifts into the fish extenders next to people's doors. Some people will say that it's, uh, a pixie dusting gift some people will just leave it there so we definitely got a lot of pixie dust thank you guys so much to anyone who gave pixie dust it was a super fun treat to come back to the room and and get like little surprises sometimes it was candy um, but I will actually show you some of the other pixie dusting gifts that we received right now so one little pixie nesting gift we got was this cute little seahorse fridge magnet or door magnet. I thought that was super cute. You can definitely tell somebody made it and I absolutely love that. So thank you to whoever left this on our door. We actually received another um, magnet on our door and I'm not sure where that is at the moment. I might've actually put it on my fridge already, but it was a Hey Hey magnet, Hey Hey from Moana. And I thought that was super fun. So thank you to those who left these. We also got some jokes. I thought these are so fun. This is such a cool idea. So they are laminated jokes. So let me tell you guys a couple. Okay. Why did Mickey Mouse get hit with a snowball? Think about it. Because Donald ducked. <laughs> Good one. Okay, next. Why did Woody give Bullseye some cough syrup? Because he was hoarse. <laughs> Love these. So fun. What is Captain Jack Sparrow's favorite restaurant? Arby's. What Disney character likes to fix things? Tinkerbell. Get it? Tinker? So cute. So thank you to the person who left these. It looks like it was pixie dusted by Jessica, who's 11 years old and um, their cabin number's on here. That is so fun. I think she's on all of these. Yeah, so thank you, Jessica. This was so fun. I'm sorry if you guys hear, I have birds and they're tweeting in the background. I'm gonna go shut that door so maybe it's a little bit more quiet. I apologize if the first half of this video was loud already, but I'm gonna see if I can turn their volume down by closing the door. One second. And I'm back. 
Okay, so moving on. More pixie dusting gifts. We got this Spider-Man ball. This is from Finley, Dexter, and Zachary. They put a cute little tag. I love that you guys um, hand drew on your little tags. I just thought that was super fun. So this is a splatter ball. You throw it and it squishes and it splats. It, it almost feels like a squishy and slime mixed together. It's really crazy. I've been saving from taking this out um, of the package because I have a feeling it's like kind of a one-time play thing. Um, otherwise it's going to probably get dust and dirt all over it, but this looks super fun. Um, my husband and I are excited to play with this. Super cool. The same family left a little Tsum Tsum uh, mystery figurine. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I love opening mystery bags like I'm obsessed with opening mystery bags usually keychains that I get at Target but I always put those on my Instagram story so if you're not following my Instagram account it is linked down below it is the same name as my YouTube name so magical world of Rachel go follow me over there and I would love to interact with you guys over on Instagram as well as on YouTube here so um, I want to open this on camera. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to open this since I got it. I was like, oh my gosh, I have to save this for the YouTube video. Uh, I had to resist all of my urges to open this the day I got it in the mail. So uh, we have some options on here. It looks like we have Minnie, Mickey. We have Cheshire Cat. We have Elsa. We have Olaf and Eeyore. So... I'm hoping to get maybe Minnie Mouse, Treasure Cat, or my number one would be Marie. I love Marie, if you guys don't know that. That was actually one of the characters I put down on my Fish Extender preferred list. So I have something else to show you, Marie. A couple things in a little bit. But let's open this together. Let's see. I've never actually opened this collection before. So... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. The moment is finally here. Okay. Oh. <gasps> I'm speechless. I got Marie. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. What are the chances of that? Zachary, Finley, and Dexter. How did you know? How did you know? Oh my gosh. There's no way you could have known. It's like, I I was looking, trying to cheat, you know. Uh, I was like holding this up to the light and trying to see through the package and I could not see through the package. So I don't know how you figured this out, but oh my gosh, look how cute she is and she's on a keychain. Uh, oh my gosh, I am obsessed. I love her so much. Yes, this is a win. This was a win. <laughs> I wanted to mention too, before I go any further, we received a lot of candy on this cruise. Uh, I believe I have a picture, so let me insert that right here. So all the candy we received was super great. It was cool to get stuff from other countries and um, be able to try different sweets from all these other countries. So my favorite thing, so far anyway, I haven't eaten all of this candy yet. My favorite thing was the hippos. The hippos from, um, oh gosh, from Kinder. The hippos from Kinder are definitely delicious. I would need to see if I can find those anywhere in the US. Actually, if you guys know of where I could find these hippos in the US, put it down below. I wonder if uh, any of the grocery store chains would carry them. But I'm sure I could order them online, but these were delicious and I really wish I didn't eat them already because I want them right now. I thought getting candies from other countries was just really, really cool and um, it was fun. Someone actually gave us a Kinder Egg, which was super fun. Uh, Kinder Eggs overseas are a little different than the ones we can get in the States. Uh, they actually banned them all together in the States for a good chunk of time because I think something with the plastic on the inside, it was like a choking hazard or something. I don't know. So yeah, it was cool to get a Kinder Egg. Um, so thank you to the person who gave us some pixie dust and gave us a uh, Kinder Egg. That was super fun as well. Okay. So those are the only uh, pixie dusted gifts that I had to show you guys. A lot of it, like I said, was candy. But when I say we got a lot of candy, we got a lot of candy. So good. So 
Moving on to the rest of the gifts. We had an adult only group on our sailing. I will say though, I think all of these gifts we received um, could have been for anyone. Sometimes in adult only groups, um, they make them adult only so that you don't get a lot of toys and so you don't get a lot of um, things for little kids. Uh, sometimes people include alcohol. Um, our group did not. We did not get any alcohol in this group, which is fine with me. Uh, I am happy that we got a bunch of practical gifts and stuff that we'll use uh, for, you know, our next cruises, but also just day-to-day -day life. So I didn't put everything together in an order of who gave what. So this is going to be a little bit mix matchy, but I wanted to show you guys, um, things a little bit more maybe in categories. So I'll go through them in, um, different types of gifts. Um, as I show you what we received. So, okay. So let's get right into it. So first thing I will show you are these coasters. So these coasters are super fun. They have the Disney magic on them. I want to say that who gave these made these. I'm not sure how. They're just paper coasters, but they're thick. They're thick paper coasters. Um, I thought these were super, super nice. Uh, we could have used them on the boat. We did not. I took them home. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be resistant to water long term or if they're just going to be like a one time use thing. So I haven't used them yet uh, because I'm nervous to ruin them. <laughs> but honestly, I might pull these out for when we are planning our next cruise because you all know that'll happen. It's just a matter of time here. We did put a placeholder down on this cruise, so hopefully sometime in the next two years. But, uh, you know, you guys will see if we go on another one. But these could be fun to kind of pull out and put our drinks on when we're planning our next cruise. So that's my plan for these little guys. Ooh, just hit my water bottle. Ugh. Okay, so this is a tube of mustard. This was given from a couple, I believe it was from Nina and Benjamin, and they had given us a bag of candies as well. They are from Germany, and this is like a famous mustard in Germany, I guess people use, um, I don't know if they put it on crackers or sandwiches. I'm not really sure, but I personally am not a mustard fan. My husband loves it. So he will be eating this and enjoying it. So thank you guys. Uh, Nina and Benjamin also, uh, gave us some Disneyland Paris stuff, which I thought was really cool. So they had given us this cute postcard. They wrote us a little letter on, which was super sweet. And they also gave us a magnet from Disneyland Paris. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Disneyland Paris. So fun. I am really, really happy that we got this because I really want to go to all the international Disney parks. It is top of my bucket list to hit every single one. The next one that we are going to most likely hit is Paris. I've been planning for it a little bit. I'm not sure if it's definitely happening yet, um, but 2020, we're trying to make it happen. So. Disneyland Paris, we're coming for you. And I love that I have this magnet and really this postcard too, I'm going to save as well because it's super fun and it has the teacups on it, which is my favorite. I'm going to save these and put them on my fridge and it's just going to help me get more excited for Disneyland Paris. So thank you guys. Next up, we have some socks. We have some Marvel socks. We have some Star Wars socks. Can't go wrong with socks. Everybody loves socks. Everybody needs socks. Love these. So fun. Next, we have a chapstick holder. This is definitely handmade. I'm not sure if they like maybe ordered it off Etsy or if they made it themselves. Let's see if we can focus, there we go. So super fun little chapstick holder. There is chapstick in it, so thank you for that. Comes in handy, but this we could attach to a bag and it's just a way to not lose your chapstick. So love this, thank you. We got a couple pins. So this one also kind of looks handmade. I'm not sure if this was handmade um, or an Etsy item, but I thought this is so fun. It's actually like a felt material. We also got a Cinderella button. We got a couple Christmas ornaments. So first one is this, it's felt, and it just says 2019 with a little Mickey head, super cute, there's a hair on it, probably mine. <laughs> 2019, a little cute thing for the Christmas tree. The next ornament we got is wooden, and it says Norway on it, and it has a little, um, you know, 
Mickey on the anchor and I love this Norway 2019 this is really special because this is something we can put on our tree forever and specifically remember our Norway cruise so I absolutely love this next up a couple more practical items we got a Mickey Mouse bottle opener i have seen these on etsy and i thought they were super fun and we don't have one so thank you this is cool we also got it says cruising with mickey this is a bottle opener for wine a little wine corkscrew so this is super handy i love that i can use these day to day and um practical gifts are just great Next up, we have a couple of bookmarks with Mickey heads. So these are plastic bookmarks. I need to read to you guys what they wrote because I thought this was really funny. Bookmark, or a giant paper clip for cruise documents, or a napkin wait for pizza by the pool. <laughs> oh gosh, ooh, dropping, dropping them. So I thought these were super fun and I love that, you know, they didn't just make them be bookmarks. They were like, well, if you don't read books, you can use them for other things and I love that. So these are so fun. Oh, just shook the camera. Sorry, guys. So these will definitely be used, if not for books, pizza by the pool. Yes. So great. All right. So next up, I have some jewelry to show you. So I actually got two similar bracelets, very different design, but meant like the same way. So I'm going to show you both of these. This one has a Mickey head on it. And this one has a little teapot, love this. So Alice was also one of my favorite characters on the list, so this is really sweet. This one says why sometimes I believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Love that, love that so much. This one says make a wish as you place it on your wrist. When the cord is through, your wish shall come true. So they're little wishing bracelets. This one says something uh, very similar on the back. Um, so these are meant to be tied on your wrist and naturally over time might fall off, but that's okay. They're not supposed to come off like day to day. So these are super fun. Love these. Right. This is another bracelet. It's kind of a handmade Alex and Ani style bracelet. It's like one of these adjustable bangles and it says wishes do come true. And there's a little Tinkerbell on there. Let's see if you guys can see her little Tinkerbell and this little flower. This actually reminds me of Hawaii and Alani is also on my bucket list. So you better believe that I will save this for when I get to Alani because oh, Alani looks beautiful. Anyone been to Alani? Let me know below. I have been to Hawaii, but I was a little kid and I am trying to go back desperately. It's just really far from Pennsylvania and flights are expensive and I'm not sure when we'll get there. But also on the top of the bucket list. Can you tell that I'm back from a trip and I'm already planning my next trip? Because technically I was planning my next trip while I was still on the cruise boat. You gotta have something fun to look forward to, you know? <laughs> Moving right along, we have a little keychain, definitely handmade, so fun. It says Disney Magic on it, little pony beads. And it also has this cute little Mickey key. Next keychain is actually a little, um, oh, what do you call these? I guess it's just a keychain, but it hooks um, onto your house keys, your car keys, whatever. But this makes it super easy to grip. I feel like these have a name. I want to call it a carabiner, but that's not right. Is it right? I don't know. But super fun. This is Stitch. This is one of Ryan's favorite characters. And honestly, I love Stitch too. So this is super fun. And I love the little detail of the Mickey ring for the actual keys. This is so, so fun. I love this. It's just a little mini wallet that goes in there, the cards, and there's a little card holder slit back here as well. And the back says, everybody wants to be a cat. And she is just the cutest. I just, I love this. I love these little mini wallets for my crossbody bags for when I'm just running little errands or when I'm at the parks and I'm wearing my crossbody bags because you don't need a big bulky wallet. I typically carry a much bigger wallet like day to day in my big bag, but for um, smaller trips and stuff like that, these are awesome. So thank you. Ooh. 
We got a couple water bottles. They say Disney Magic Norwegian Fjords 2019 and it has the Norwegian flag on there. So that's super cool. Ryan and I both got one of these. If you don't have a water bottle to bring on your Disney cruise, that is a big thing that you should always have. I actually brought my Starbucks cup, which I have over here. Uh, so I use this around the ship. It's really big so I could refill it, drink lots of water as I'm walking around. Uh, and also, um, when I got off the ship, we actually had throwaway water bottles that we had purchased and brought on the ship for this particular trip. But if you don't want to waste or if you forget to bring a tumbler or something to carry around the boat, water bottles like these are awesome and so handy to have. So these are great. More practical gifts. So we actually brought a whole bunch of these, but these are magnetic hooks. You can never have too many of these. I, I think I used like at least eight of these on this particular sailing. Your front door of the stateroom is magnetic. So being able to have little hooks like these that are super strong, they link onto the door and you can hang purses, coats. We actually hung my purses because I brought a couple to switch out in a little backpack and our carabiners, which we wore around the ship every day that had our cue the world card in them. These are just so handy. I can't, I can't tell you guys enough. These are on Amazon if you don't have these already add to cart bring them with you they're so great this person said um with these oh <laughs> with these hooks there was a little note and it says in your room no bigger than a nook hang this gear on this little hook hang your gear on this little i can't I'm just i'm gonna reread that in your room no bigger than a nook hang your gear on this little hook we also got a Stitch Nightlight. This is super fun. Nightlights are great to have on board to put uh, in the outlets so that you can make your way to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Especially for people like us, we usually book an inside stateroom. So there is no light coming through anywhere in that room. It is pitch black whenever we turn the lights out. And yeah, if you have to get up in the middle of the night, it's, it's hard to see. And if you turn on a light, you might wake up the person sleeping with you. So, you know, this is super handy. And I love that it's Stitch, it's so fun. It actually lights up blue too, cute little detail. That same person also gave me a little Alice in Wonderland mirror. I thought this was super cute. It's a very thin compact, so great to be able to put in a purse. Everything is possible, even the impossible, it says on the inside. Next up, this is probably one of the more crafty items that I've seen. I just think it's so cool. It's two in one. It is a luggage tag that gives you room to put your name and your address, all that good stuff. The other side will swing open and here you have a travel sewing kit. How cool of an idea is that? I love that so much. You can never be too safe. I actually usually carry a travel sewing kit with me because I will be that person who rips a seam on a dress or something before formal night and I need to fix it. So <laughs> always comes with me and this is awesome. I'm definitely gonna bring this with me on any future trip that I have. And it says Norway 2019 on the front. So fun little detail to remember this cruise. We got an umbrella, super fun. I love that it has the like nautical details on there. And this would have been super handy if it rained on our trip. Luckily, we only had one day of rain on our trip and it barely even rained. We didn't bring umbrellas out at all because we could just put our rain jacket hood up and we were fine. But if it had downpoured, this would have been so handy. So I'm definitely bringing this on all future cruises and future trips, so great to have. Next up, we have a Spider-Man air freshener. I think this is meant more for my husband, but it might go in my car. So fun. Can't go wrong with air fresheners. So great. You also can't go wrong with tissues, and we got three packs of them. We actually gave tissues in our fish extender gifts as well, so everybody, I think, got three, maybe four packs of tissues on this cruise, which is so funny, but honestly, you can never have too many of these. Throw one in your car, throw one in your purse, and then always definitely put them in your backpack for trips and stuff, so um, this one's just blank. This one has um, money on it, fake money, of course. Um, I'm assuming, oh, it's a euro. Euro? I think it's the Euro. It has like the queen on it. <laughs> it's so fun. And then we got some Donald Duck tissues as well. So these are super great. Next up, we got some playing cards. 
super great. This is a nice big pack of playing cards. So we didn't end up playing these on the boat. Honestly, there's just never enough time because there's so much to do. But if we had had some downtime, we definitely would have cracked these out. And these will definitely be cracked out in the future when we're just hanging out on a game night or, you know, traveling, whatever. It's great to have a pack of cards with you. There's so many games you can play with them. We got a photo frame. It says Disney Magic Norway 2019, so we can put our own photo in there. There's some little frozen details, which is fun. Our cruise to Norway was definitely themed somewhat frozen. I will say I was very happy it wasn't frozen overload because while I like frozen, I didn't want frozen in my face the whole time. And you would think with Norway it might be because frozen was based off of Norway. All the scenes that you see in frozen were inspired by Norway. Norway. We had a frozen themed deck party and we had um, a frozen meet and greet one day on the ship, but that was it. So it was perfect for anyone that is curious about that. If you're thinking about going on the Norway cruise, I actually thought there was more tangled stuff on that cruise because there was a tangled restaurant, tangled show, and um, the takeover of uh, the snuggly duckling at one of the pubs one night. It was kind of funny that it felt more tangled themed than frozen, but totally okay with me. Next up, we have some koozies. I really liked that this one came <laughs> on a little cup. I thought that was super cool, super cute little detail. If I didn't know what this was, um, I definitely do now. But I know a good koozie when I see one. So this one was hand stitched, definitely, um, or crocheted. I guess this is crocheting, right? I don't do it, I don't know how. But this is so fun and Mickey colors, love it. We also got a few others from another cabin that were hand stitched as well with some really cool like Disney, uh, I don't even know, it's like Disney graphics. It's like movie posters and stuff. I don't know, some Disney artwork, super cool fabric, love these. So we got these two are, are thicker and bigger. We also got two smaller ones that were a little thinner. So this one has Mickey, this has that same fabric on it. But it's cool, this fabric, it's different everywhere you look at it, so I love that. We did use these on the ship. Um, we had gotten these uh, a little bit earlier on in the cruise, so we were able to use these and we will continue to use these, especially as we get into the warmer months. I believe it was that same cabin that gave us these. These are cord keepers. So they're just little strips of like ribbon that she attached a little button to. And they're all Disney fabrics. This one um, is Disney Cruise Line. Um, what does it say? Set, set and Sail, it says. This one is Star Wars. This one has Disney snacks. I love me some Disney snacks. So fun. And this one is Haunted Mansion, which I uh, love Haunted Mansion so much. So these are great. You can um, wrap up your phone cords and then put this around it so that your cords don't get all crazy and all over the place in your bag. That's what these are meant for. So super creative idea. I think this is really cool. Ryan celebrated his birthday on the cruise um, just about a week before his actual birthday. But one of the people on the cruise actually gave him a little handmade card. This is from Esther. Esther, I believe. Esther and Tom. Uh, this is really, really sweet. I just love that they handmade a card for him. So thank you guys. I thought that was really, really nice. All right. I got a clutch bag. This is great. So I love a good clutch. You can use these for so many things. Carry it around the ship. You can throw your makeup in here, whatever. So this says my name on it and it has little Minnie and Mickey. Inside has another compact. This is great. Can never have too many of these. Gotta love it. Little mini mirror in here. And a little notebook, which I love this pattern on this notebook. I love a good black and white striped anything. But yeah, just a little blank notebook. So I love this. Um, I definitely am someone that always carries a notebook when I travel. So these are super handy. Love it. Okay, so this was a fun surprise to come back to. We got mugs. So Ryan got a really cute stitch mug. It is just so sweet. It might not seem super manly, but my husband will totally melt over a cute stitch face like this so he was super excited it says ohana on the other side this is a nice big mug love 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 this and then i got a marie mug look how sassy oh she's like mm-hmm <laughs> and on that side and in the inside it says i can't even write meow how cute is that i actually 
wanted to get this mug. I saw this mug at the Disney store a while ago and I resisted buying it because I was saving for the cruise. So when I got this, I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, I'm so glad I didn't spend my money on that because now it's gifted and it's like 10 times cooler now that it was a present. So thank you to who gave these. So that was all the main gifts. I do want to show you two bags that we got. So this one is so fun. I can't even put this whole thing in the frame. This is a handmade little tote bag. And this wraps up really small, which I think is really handy because you can never have too many totes. Um, this was made by the same girl who made um, the koozies stitch the koozies for us so this is awesome thank you so much the other bag we got is this canvas bag it says magic norwegian fjords and it actually came with um a name tag for us that they put a magnet on and i love that because now we can use this on the fridge and i will definitely use this on the fridge um, it has a cute little note in it from two families actually put together the gifts that were in this bag so there's a little um something nice that they wrote inside it was it's almost like a poem yeah it like it the whole thing rhymes i remember reading that um when we first got it i thought that was super fun so thank you guys this is a beautiful tote bag honestly i absolutely love this so that's it for the fish extender portion of this video. I'll show you guys in a second some other stuff that we bought, but I just really wanted to say an extra special thank you. And from my husband as well, he's not home right now or he'd be in this video with me, but all these gifts were awesome. This was such a fun experience doing the fish extender. I said in my previous video that this was the first time that I did a fish extender and I just had so much fun putting together the gifts that I gave and coming back to the room every day pretty much every single day I think we got a gift maybe like one day we didn't get an actual fish extender gift we might have gotten just some pixie dust or something but up until even I think the night before our last day we got gifts so six days we came back to the room and got gifts I just loved that like I was giggly. I would get back to her and be like, ooh, something's on our door. And we'd bring it in. I immediately opened it. And um, it was just a super fun experience. So I wanted to give my thoughts overall on Fish Extender. I said that in the first video. So overall, general thoughts, loved it. Would I do it again? 100% I would do it again. I think I might have overspent a little bit on what I gave no regrets at all i loved every single thing that i gave but i think maybe next time like what i would do differently is maybe just cut out one aspect of my gift maybe um cut out one of the gifts that i gave to all the cabins so i gave two gifts to all the cabins the same and then i gave one individual gift per person so i think i might do that again and then maybe one general stateroom gift instead of two um just to help cut costs a little bit and um, i don't necessarily think i needed to do that um but I really hope all the people that receive their gifts loved them because I loved doing it. Um, but that's probably my biggest takeaway from all this is that I'm going to try to chill a little bit. I'm such a big gift giver. Um, but I need to also, I think, just be careful of how much I spend so that I can be responsible. But I... I'm just so thankful and so happy with everything that we received. It was so much fun. I have so many things now to remember this cruise by that I couldn't have bought. Like this ornament wouldn't have been able to buy that at the gift shop. And now it's a new memory for me to keep forever. I think that's what's so special about Fish Extender is just the unique things that you get from people that you wouldn't be able to buy yourself. And I just love that. So do fish extender it's worth your time you know even if it's super low key it doesn't matter you know you can literally make all of your gifts there was um one or two families that made everything that we got in there um and i think that's so cool i i appreciate the craftsmanship so much because i had to buy a lot of my stuff i i am not crafty enough to make everything um but i love that they did and you know 
you can definitely do fish extender on a budget or you can spend a ton of money it doesn't matter do what you're comfortable with have fun with it and I guarantee you you'll be so happy with the things you get in return that you'll want to do it again just like me so I will definitely make sure that I post fish extender videos again in the future when and if we do them um, it's just a matter of time I'm sure but uh, yeah so thank you again to our group you guys were awesome this was amazing such a great first experience doing the fish extender okay so let me show you guys some stuff that we picked up on our cruise because I loved I loved the gift shops I really tried not to spend money I tried to be practical with what I bought, so let me show you. Disney, in general, if you haven't been to a Disney store in a while or been to Disney World, Disneyland, wherever, you might not know, but Disney has gotten rid of throwaway bags. No longer giving them out for free. You either carry your stuff or you have to pay to buy a reusable bag. So I bought this little reusable bag they usually have three sizes um they definitely had that on the cruise line and i know they do that at disney world as well this one was only a dollar so not a big deal and honestly i love this because i will use it for random stuff all the time um, i actually bought a few of them <laughs> just so i could use them at home for little things you know whether it's going to the grocery store or just carrying my lunch to work it's the perfect size for that So inside this bag, the first thing that I bought is this Tervis tumbler. So this is a Norwegian Fjords tumbler. It says 2019 on there. And up here we have Norway and down here England. So we started our cruise in Dover, England and then went up to Norway. So spinning the wrong way. There we go. Went up to Norway. So I love that it just shows both aspects of our trip because we spent a couple days in London so being able to remember that with this tumbler I thought was super great so they only had a few exclusive items for this cruise for this particular sailing we were the only sailing to, I believe to the Norwegian fjords maybe there was one other one but it wasn't the exact same stops as ours um, it had a couple of the same ones and a couple different ones so our sailing was truly unique the only one for the year and actually looking at 2020 our same exact sailing I didn't see they kind of tweaked the stops a little bit most of the places we went they're stopping but i have no doubt that they'll go back to a lot of our stops again in the future because oh my gosh how beautiful were they Woo, so cool but yeah so anyway i love this tumbler i've already used this a bunch i just um put it in this bag for the last week or so so i'd remember to show you guys but i'm gonna put this right back in my cabinet because it's a fun thing to take to work to remember this trip by every day Next up, we got a pin. So this is the same logo as what's on the Tervis. So love that. Has London, Norway, little Mickey wearing a little scarf. So cute. So the only exclusive items they had was this pin. They had the tumbler. They had one shirt, maybe two shirts. And they had some magnets, like giant magnets that you could buy and put on your door. And I was tempted to get the magnets. I didn't end up doing it. I was just trying to be smart with my spending. But I'm really glad I got this pin. This is going right up on my pin board so I can remember this trip. I love this. Along with that pin, I grabbed another pin. So this is a Disney Magic pin to remember this sailing by. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Disney magic pin, so fun. I will definitely put this up on the pin board. These are pins that I will never trade because they are just memories of this trip. I'm really bummed I didn't get a Disney Wonder pin on my first cruise. Uh, next time I get on the Wonder, whenever that would be, uh, I'm definitely gonna get a Disney Wonder pin because as I go on all the ships, I wanna make sure I get a pin from each ship. So love this, so great. So keeping with the pin theme, on our boat, if you spent a certain amount of money, you could get a mystery pin for, I think it was, I don't know, $5.99 or something like that. I can't quite remember, but I managed to grab two of them. So I figured I'd open them on camera with you guys. I, again, was really dying to open these <laughs> before this filming session here, but I res restrained myself from doing that so that I could open them with you. So let's open. Ah, okay, first pin. 
Oh, cute. I knew they were cupcake pins. They did say that they were cupcake pins on the sign before I bought it. So this is Goofy. Look how cute. So Goofy's a little cupcake when he has like a little, a little sailing hat on. How sweet is that? Next up. This will be another cupcake pin as well. Dale! <laughs> it's Dale! Aw, how cute is that? These pins don't want to focus. Let me see if I can get them both to focus for you guys. There we go. How cute! Little cupcakes. Goofy and Dale. <laughs> I'm so a completionist usually with this kind of stuff, so I don't usually get mystery pins. Um, this is gonna be hard to not wanna trade for, um, but maybe, I don't know. Tell me below, have you been on a Disney cruise and have they had these same type of pins up at the front? Because I wonder if they have been doing these for a while, because it'd be kind of cool to collect a couple on each sailing that I go on in the future, but I don't know if they'll be around that long. So I don't know, if you have any of these, let me know, because these are fun, but I am such a completionist, and I'm gonna wanna try to get more of them so I can try to complete a set. So tell me, tell me if I can get more of these or not, because I don't know. Okay, so that's all I actually bought on this cruise, but I wanted to show you a couple free things that we got as well. So. We got a Disney Cruise Line Castaway Club bag. It's like a one strap shoulder bag, has a whole bunch of pockets. We got this on the first day of sealing. So right when we checked into the room, we got this bag. You get this bag um, when you become a Silver Castaway Club member, which means it is your second Disney cruise or more. I'm not sure if, if we get them every time we arrive for sale, uh, for Silver. Let me know below if that's true. I know at least on this cruise we were getting this. I, I kind of had known in advance. So um, just kind of cool, a cool gift to be able to get. I kind of hope they switch it up for every cruise because, you know, we don't need tons of these bags. Um, but they are really handy. You can bring them on the Port Adventures with you and it's just a, a great size for that. So if you are a Silver Castaway Club member or going on your second Disney cruise, you can look forward to getting this in your stateroom. Also being a Silver Castaway Club member, we got our first lanyards on this cruise. So it says Castaway Club, Disney Cruise Line. It is a silver color. So we got these um, to be able to put our key to the world card in, which is not in here at the moment, but Ryan's little card for the Cove Cafe is in here. <laughs> for uh, every time you buy a special drink, you get a stamp and um, you buy five and then you get one free. So he didn't get that many, so we didn't use this card, unfortunately. But these are super great to have because you can bring these around with you everywhere. You do not get these on your first cruise, so you only get these when you become silver on your second cruise and beyond. They also have a gold one, and I'm not sure what they do for platinum, if it's um, similar to this, probably, but everybody will get a lanyard after your first Disney cruise. And if it's your first Disney cruise, I suggest bringing a lanyard. I knew about this last year. So I actually last year brought one with me. Let me see. I had brought this one with me, which actually I still do wear. I kind of interchange between this and this. I like that this is thinner and it's kind of sparkly and um, it's great to have for like more formal nights and stuff where I don't really want a big, you know, chunky silver lanyard. Um, this is actually a Disney lanyard, so it has a little uh, Mickey Mouse on it and the card goes this way instead of this way. So it's just a little different, but I like having things match my outfits. I'm definitely someone who likes to be super coordinated. So um, this was great. I actually picked this up at Torrid, which is a clothing store. I think you could find something like this at Hot Topic or Box Lunch. Um, so you guys can look these up on the internet if you're looking for a Disney specific one. Or of course, Amazon. You can find anything like this on Amazon for really inexpensive. You can get a big pack of them. So definitely recommend that for your first Disney cruise. The last item that we got for free, we actually got on Frozen Night. So this this is a snowflake necklace that was left in our room. Ryan and I both got one and it actually lights up. So how pretty is that? This we could have worn to the frozen deck party, worn around the ship, you know, they give them to you kind of as your gift for the frozen deck party. So I thought that was really fun and definitely something we're gonna keep and something I might wear to Disney World around Christmas time. So that is it, my friends. 
since that is everything that I wanted to show you today. So I hope you enjoyed this video, looking at all the fishing center gifts and also the stuff I bought on this sailing. This cruise was just the most magical cruise and I can't wait for the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you have some new ideas of what fish extenders look like and um, I hope you enjoyed watching it with me. I had so much fun doing this and it'll definitely happen again. So I will see you all real soon. Bye.